Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory Saturday Night Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Randomizers. Let's get it started with a good old normal open defeat Ganon. Average sitting at 201.06. I wouldn't mind a nice comfortable sub 2 to push that even lower. Ideally, I'd like to target an average of 2, but the lower we can get it, the better. Deal with a few frame drops here, I guess. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, but let's get this going in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. What are we dealing with today? What's the first item? Piece of candy. Not great. Not great. We'll, we'll deny that's not great. That's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll make do. We'll make it happen. Make something work with that. Standard opening route here. Excuse me, fella. I need to go throw this sign at a blue guard. Get out my way, please. Thank you. All righty. And then drop a little fiber. Whatever. Let's see what the tree pole has got for us today. Got some full ass magics. Maybe not entirely unuseful, but not extremely useful either. see what uncle's got for us what's in his what's in his pockets the power glove oh man he was playing with power what an interesting like really early item to get just a 20 in the other one that's that's okay that's all right so let's go rob the church rob our uncle and then go rob the church well, the church has just got a burrito all right whatever i guess Picked up our power glove. How interesting. So, we will be probably going for back half escape pretty soon here, as soon as we get some visited bands. Before that, we're gonna check out good old Kakariko Village. Always a good starter, I think, considering the absolute volume of items there. Check what the crab drop is here. What? Bombs! Beautiful! What a beautiful crab drop. Uh, of course, he's gonna drop that last one right behind the fuck. Gimme. Alright, that's okay. We get another uh, crab opportunity in Lost Woods here. What's on that lumberjack ledge? Nothing but a piece of candy. Okay, so we don't care about that. At all, in fact. Um, but there's still no guarantee that Egg One won't be required. Unfortunately. But, that's, that's a good step towards it. I mean, it's not a really absolutely critical item um, that we super care about. Alright, buddy. Just give me all of the bombs, please. Thank you. That's a lot of bombs, except he dropped them in stupid locations again. Ugh. That's right. We, we can deal with eight bombs. What about the mushroom spot? It's a piece of candy. We're gonna grab it. That makes two. Two more and we get some more help. For the time being. Check out what's in the soul soul thieves down here. What do we got? A big old 20. Okay. Well, that's, that's fine. That's fine and dandy, I guess. A little, little pocket change. We'd like to get 100 before leaving Kakariko so we can hit Bottle Vendor right away, but we'll see what happens with that. So we do have enough bombs to hit on through Kakariko. We, if we play our cards right, we might have enough to hit South Shore as well right away. Um, although I am less thrilled about that. What do we got? A little piece of candy. Free hundo. All right. Some good money, a uh, big old 20, not great, but five arrow cap, okay. The three hundo is probably the most exciting there. Oh, but there's the big D. The bow. Super early bow. That makes me a little happy. I have to be trudging along looking for that shit, but now Eastern is open to us. Speaking of. Oh, of course it's a pendant. We got green pendo at desert and a crystal at Hera. And 
normal ass pendant at Eastern. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate right there. Having such an early bow. But, you know what? That's okay. I'd much rather have early bow. It gives us some reasonable weaponry. Assuming we get some arrows. Getting plenty of pocket change here. Plenty of pocket change. Ah, there's some arrows. Bomb cap. Alright, well we definitely have uh, South Shore material then. Even without having a, a shit ton of bombs. Oh! <laughs> and then the mitts from the bottle vendor. Amazing. Well, we have got that lift. We do, in fact, lift, bro. A good chicken throw. That get all the way to the other side? Oh, just about. Big old 20 in the back of the KFC. Alright, well, this isn't a bad start. Getting some gear. I might be tempted to get another pack of bombs on our way out, just because... Oh, wait, we don't have a bottle. Or, hell was I thinking? cap there. You know what? I'm gonna go get some bombs. Because I do appreciate having a surplus of bombs, just in case. Just in case it ha we happen to need them. And we definitely got the cash for it. It's gonna take away from our Zora money a little bit, but that's alright. Check the library really quick here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, silver's on library. All right. All right, we know where they are. That's kind of important. <laughs> That's important for me is to know where silvers are. What about the race game? Uh, big old heart container at race game. You know what? We're not going to care about that. This time around, we are not going to care. Shore and then maybe spin up towards Sahash or back and front half of Escape might not be a bad idea either. Depending on what we get. Oh, there's Baby's first shield. Okay. A little bit of protection. Not much. It doesn't do much for you. I'll be happy if we get the fire shield though. I know shields aren't strictly necessary. We've certainly done runs without them. But might be able to block fireballs. Makes the blind fight that much easier. Alright, what's under the water there? What's waterlogged today? Oh, a big old 20. We'll, we'll, we'll grab it. Okay. Doing fish rescue? We'll do fish rescue too. Why not? It's on our way. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> we still grab it on the way? Ah, no fish rescue. I'm going to use some arrows instead are a little bit unreliable for fighting these guys. And then again, so are arrows, because you gotta, gotta line up the shot. Alright, <laughs> you know what? I've got a surplus of bombs. By design. Yeah, that works. It didn't drop a whole lot for me. Well, there's one of the single roots, another 50. The saw, uh, the arrow of destiny, okay. Runs halfway valid. Refill and the blue mail. Nice. Okay. Not a whole lot of not a whole lot of value in that five, but that's all right. Make things work regardless. This dumbass bird. Get out of here. Crabs pose less of a problem now since we've got blue mail. 
but I'd still like to take no hits from them. Ooh, nice beat drop. No hits from them would be real nice. Eh? Ah, the arrow caps. Alright, uh, I am feeling back half escape here. Let's do that first. Then we'll probably do front half. So we've got reliable enough weaponry where we can take care of it. Between the bow and a copious amount of bombs. Oops. Waste arrows. Waste our six arrows that we have. There's some more busy bands, bomb cap, and the other single roof. Alright, well, this run is two thirds of the way valid now. We got the arrow of destiny. We got the two single roofs. All we need is validation chest, and we'll be good to go. Tracker while we're, excuse me, while we're running up to the castle. Three items in here. Three items in the back half of the escape weren't great. Weren't exactly game breaking. Seed breaking or route breaking or whatever. We'll see what the front half has for us. key. Alright, well, we'd be good to go to get the darkroom chest if we wanted to try for it. But I feel like that's probably a bad idea. Waste more time than we save. At least until we have some sort of uh, reliable weapon. I mean, bow and arrow is all well and good. Uh, but it doesn't exactly do the job as far as permanent weaponry goes. Goal 20. Yikes. Sorry, this is looking like a... Like a bad... A bad play here, but you never really know until you go for it. Here. I don't know that that's gonna work. <laughs> so we'll, we'll give it a try. Big old heart container. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was not fantastic either, was it? So I guess we're going over to Sahash. Sahash and Eastern. We're running out of good places to go for big stashes of items. Excuse me. Octorok, sir. Please. All right, Sahash, what's in your back room? The old man. What you got back there? What you hiding from us? Moon pearls, pretty impressive. Big old 20. Piece of candy. Moon pearl does get us into Dark World. It surely does, but without some, like, offensive weaponry, like a sword or a hammer or a fire rod or something like that, well, it's not looking the greatest. Not seeming like the greatest idea to go for Dark World just yet. So we're gonna dip into Eastern real quick. Real quick like. We could even, you know, finish Eastern off swordless if we really needed to. Fortunately, being a pendant dungeon, that will hopefully not be required. Uh, 
red mail, though. Pretty early red mail. He's got some good defensive capability. Ouch. That's item number one here. Which is good and bad. Good and bad. I would have preferred something maybe a little bit more relevant to our current sitch. Red mail definitely is not the worst thing in the world. chance that we won't have to do any dark rooms to get the last couple items here. If we get super lucky and get the other two on this chest coming up and then the big chest, that'd be the best. That would be the best possible roll for us. Excuse me, sir. But I think that's asking for a lot. That will be asking for a whole bunch here. And of course, <laughs> there's the compass. All right, so we're doing dark rooms for sure, which is going to be a trick. It's going to be a trick and a half without uh, without a sword or something to guide our way. But we've done it before. We can do it again. How's the burrito? All right, well, uh, hmm. This could be a real big problem, actually. <laughs> Uh, well, not a big problem. Just a little tiny problem, I suppose, at best. Uh, but we do... We could finish off... Um... Thank you. <laughs> it's like... Um, what the hell? Um... Okay, can we get... No! Fucking... Okay. Well, I guess we'll just take a death, because we couldn't get in that door for some fucking reason. Whatever. I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. Hey, Echo Shard, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna call that a wash, and we're gonna go to. Um, just tempted to fake Flipper. Uh, but I'm even more tempted to go into Dark World just for the sake of getting some more opportunities for items. So that's what we're gonna do. Fortunately, we only got the one item out of Eastern, which kind of sucks. But technically speaking, those other two items should not be in logic for us, so this may end up being the right play anyways. But we're gonna have to be careful. I mean, we do have red mail. But we're headed into Dark World with uh, five hearts. Not ideal. Not ideal by any stretch. But we'll do what we can. We'll do the best we can. We can get the three in Village of Outcasts here. We could, if we were feeling sparky, we could dip into Thieves Town and get those four. Let's see what we got. It crystals all around except for Pod. Five, six are at Ice. The other five, six are at Skull Woods. And then normal ass crystals all the way around. Oopsie. Okay. I mean, not the, not the best setup, not the worst setup. <laughs> seen better, and seen far worse. So whatever, we're average. We'll call it average. What we got up there, Some big, big old twenty up there. Well, we dealing with a, a lot of heavy hitters here. Excuse me, birds. Excuse me. This would be a very interesting. I'm not sure if I want to go into Thieves Town right away or not. Because although we could get a couple items, it would be a bit of a stretch to get through there now with two hearts. and no real means of attacking anything. I mean, besides the bow, which is useful, but... 
big old 20 and busted out Shaq. So maybe we go in, we get the first four. Those are easy enough. Ouch, excuse me, sir. Those are easy enough. And then we'll pop on out and do the rest of our uh, Dark World business here. So we can get Hype Cave and all that. Oh, we got some literacy. Literacy is good. Gets us into desert. So once we do get a couple swords to our name, that gets us the tablets. Big key straight out the gate. Great sign. <laughs> so what we could be doing is getting our bow at the ready here. So that is our only semi-reliable weapon. Oh, a mirror is even better. Actually, that's really good to have. Kind of early Dark World. Just a small-ass key there, huh? Okay, well, only one. I only got one of the four, or no, two of the four items. Excuse me, because we did get the book. Or no, no, we didn't. Man, I'm getting all mixed up here. All right, well, that's, uh, that's an interesting set of stuff to have right now. Mirror is helpful for Dark World routing, certainly. Get the, uh, the blacksmith knocked out right away. Take care of Purple Chest, too, on the way to. On the way past Hype Cave, I suppose. Maybe we'll get lucky and dig up enough cash for Zora. Oh, I'm not gonna do that by digging up all these single roots. Piece of candy. We'll, we'll keep going. Let's see if we can grab some more cash here. Mm, nope. Alright, well, we're only 50 roots off now. Kind of flirting with Zora money here, but we've been spending it on all the, on all the spendable little mini games and such. But that's all right. We don't have the flippers for Zora anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Oops, what am I doing? Go drop this guy off. What you got for us? Oh, big old heart container. Well, they are really happy. Really happy to see me, I guess. Thanks. Thanks, fellas. Thanks are pretty critical right now, considering how low of our health. How low our health is. That's right. We'll grab a little chest and go on a little, on a little adventure. Twenty-four minutes in and no sword. It makes me a little bit worried. A little quack action going on there. Mole Stumpy, thanks, old Stumpy. Just gonna avoid that whole garbage mess right there. Big old 20 here. You know what? I'm gonna grab this. 
Only 36 away from Zora Cash now. right away, then we'll go back for Hype Cave. Alright, buddy, what you got? What you got in your lunchbox? Just a fiver, huh? Just a little five spot? Alright. Thanks for very little value there, I guess. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Ouch. Knocking out all these bullshit fetch quest ones here. Over oh, kind of in the area. from uh, the first type cave. Well, what do we got? Our container, okay. Three hundo. Fire rod is nice. And ten arrows. Okay, you know what? We are now going to get out of there. Go do all the, uh, all the Zora business now. Pretty much. The exception of whatever's on his ledge. But since we've got the cash, may as well take care of it. So Fire Rod is interesting in so much as it gets us into the basement of Hera. Although... <laughs> Although we can't really do much else in Hera. We can't beat Wormulon because we don't have a weapon that can hurt him. I think, right? Because I don't think the Fire Rod does. I don't think bombs do. Ow. Crabs, really? Hmm. Very interesting routing we're having to take without some key items here. That should do it, I think. Nice. First try. First try without a sword lineup is pretty damn fly for me. Alright, what do we got there? Oh, Koi. Okay, there's a there's a sword on the island, which we cannot get to because we don't have flippers. But it's good to know that it's there. It could eventually be our butter sword. Depending on how where the other swords are. What about you, Hobo? Five arrow cap. Gee, thanks. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing yet again. That's okay. I guess I can't expect too much out of him. He's living under a bridge for. So he probably doesn't have a lot to spare. I should be happy that he gave me a five arrow cap. All right. Since we do have the moon pearl in hand, let's go do water walking so we can get the waterfall garbage. Go see what King Ripoff is up to. Candy. Oh, I have to do this again because we <laughs> refilled our health there. If ever there was an annoyance about that glitch, that's the one. Oh, oh there's our fire shield. Okay. A little extra protection. A little extra protection just in case. Okay, there's nothing good on ledge, please. Good, it's just a... Vanilla ass piece of candy. What about King Ripa? It's our last chance to make this uh, a trip worthwhile. Eh? Nothing but bombs. You know what? We'll take it. We paid 500 groups for it. We're gonna take it. Fucking gonna take that. All right. Uh, well. Hmm. 
This is gonna be some very, very interesting routing now. Oh, we could have checked what was on Bombos. I didn't even bother while we were over there. Even if we can't get it, we could still check it. Not too late. Thanks for going to desert. Let's see what Agen has got for us and check the desert ledge. We could go into Desert Palace if we so chose. We could actually complete Desert Palace since we do have enough weaponry to do so. Fire Rod would definitely help. This bird. Come on, man. What is up with birds? Birds in every game. It's fucking jerks, one and all. Alright, watch this. is gonna blow the rest of the seed wide open. No, but it is a nice item. And mysteriously enough, that unlocks the entire- oh, I guess we can hurt blind with it. So we could go take care of Thieves Town. Hmm, that's an interesting weapon to have. <laughs> that's a very interesting weapon to have. Alright, what's on the ledge here? Nothing but a big old 20 on the ledge, so we don't care about that. But, we do care about getting in here. Long way around. May or may not be able to complete this depending on what's on that torch. But we will see shortly, will we not? get lucky and get both items straight away over here. That would, that would work out for us. Uh, Alright, well, our best, most reliable weapon is still the bow and arrow. It's candy. So that's one of them. Oh, desert is a fucking pendant. What am I even doing here, then? It's the big key! Well, I guess either way, whether that item's on the torch or in the big chest, it doesn't really critically matter for us. Even though we could, in theory, finish desert, get the green pendant, and go see what Sahashrashrashrashrilla has got for us. And that could be the one item that busts this way open, but we'll see what's on the torch here. It's the burrito. Okay, so this is a, a finishable dungeon. A completable dungeon. Well, I guess it already was since we already got the big key and the small key. Let's see what we're dealing with here. That's the compass. Well, I suppose we should. I suppose we should finish this off. We started it. We may as well finish it. Terribly exciting boss fight. There's not a whole lot of other places we can go. We could, in theory, go into Skull Woods. We could go finish uh, Thieves Town. That might be the better play, actually. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Going into Thieves Town. That'll at least get us a crystal. Even though it's super dangerous to do that right now because we've got very little health. Really, a, a lot of utility items for us. So we'll just stick with the desert for now. I think 
we have just barely enough magic to make this a one cycle if we're, uh, if we're on point with our aim. Which we are not, apparently. Oof. Yeah, we are not on point at all with our aim. Alright, that's it there. So, we're gonna finish this off with some arrows. Okay, I think one more arrow to this D-bag and then we'll be done. Nice. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Oh, for the flippers! Well, that's an interesting development. Hmm. That does get us a sword now, which would be real nice. It does open up a whole host of other things. Which I think we'll probably go for right away, actually. It's not the worst idea in the world. Um, it's gonna be quite a trek to get over there. What's the nearest portal? Probably now. All right, we're gonna go for Thieves Town first, I think. Because then we'll be ready to grab a sword. Uh, except we don't have a hammer, so... I don't know, this is all real dangerous. This is, some, this is a dangerous route to take for me. Eight hearts is not very many. Red mail is nice, but eight hearts is still not very many. But in theory, we should be able to take care of this. We're gonna have to wait until we get that sword to do skull woods, though, since we do need a sword to cut down the vines. So let's try our luck with the back half of Thieves Town first, then we'll go get our sword. And then we'll see what else we can kind of take care of here. Having those flippers opens up ice pa oops, what am I doing? Opens up ice palace. And it opens up swamp. And I think that's it, actually. <laughs> opens up two places for us. We can't really get very far in either of them. Uh, we would like to have a hookshot before we try. Um, but it does make it available. Excuse me. <laughs> Please get out of here. There is a lot of these D-bags just hanging around here. Please disperse. At least get out of my way. Time. Uh, arrow cap. Ooh, that's the item we wanted, right? Ugh. What a mess. What a mess of a seed this has been so far. We did get the get the power glove straight out the gate, which is nice, but it hasn't been very kind to us. Almost immediately after that, so. Whatever. We can still manage still manage this. Hey, Straight Lombardner, how you doing? Good to see ya. <laughs> I do like the Samus skin, yes. And, you know, splits is just for fun. I know it doesn't really make a lot of sense for randos, but it's nice to see averages and shit. It's just some numbers I like to watch tick up, okay? It's just about some numbers. Oh good, the compass, great. All right, so we're gonna be leaving an item behind here anyways. Ow, fucko, out my way. Ugh, these guys, really. Oh, we got two of them. <laughs> do, 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 do. do. Do 
doo doo. All right, so this is gonna be a fun little battle. I'll whip out some Samaria strats here. Fuel Samaria strat. Oh, okay. Um, nice. That actually worked out pretty well. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> this is such an awkward fight. This is such an awkward fight with this garbage. The garbage that we have. Oh, I'll totally whiffed on that one. Excuse me, sirs. I would like that block back. Thank you. Ah. Ah, there we go. We did it. <laughs> awkward as hell, but we did it. Hey, Tormod. Thanks for the host. Appreciate it. There's item number three, and it's just arrows, so that was... Kind of a bogus dungeon to have to do there. With Samaria. <laughs> so silly. Okay, that's fine, I guess. That's fine. At least we know of a sword where we can get it. So, let's go do that right away. Because fuck swordless. Um, what can we get on the way? Can we get anything on the way? Not really. Unfortunate. But them's the breaks. Ouch. All right, so we're on our way to our first sword. <laughs> our first sword, our first little, our first little pokey poke stabby weapon of the game. Let's go grab it. It's such an awkward location. Alright, we did it. We got a sword. Now we can go do other things. Like Skull Woods. No more swordless dungeons for us, please. Okay, thanks. We could also technically go up to uh, Tower of Hera, which we might do. Might break a little logic and go up to the Tower of Hera. A stupid place to put a sword. You know, I, d I don't disagree. What am I doing, by the way? Where am I going? Seems like a very awkward way to get into the, into the village. <laughs> Oops. I think I got crossed with what I was going to do. That's all right. Hmm. <laughs> well, this is going to be an interesting fight if I run out of magic. So I have to do uh, spin attacks to do any sort of damage to Mothula. <laughs> Out of my way, weird bouncy mutant plant thing. So I don't think a normal slash with a plastic sword does anything to Mothula. It's unfortunate for us, but hey, you, got, you gotta work with what you got. Kane O'Brien isn't exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, that doesn't work either, huh? Okay. <laughs> Mummies will give those are immune to arrows. Okay. Oh, I don't have a small key either. Excuse me. I got a piss with the cock you got. Yeah, I mean, that's a... Uh... That's a very interesting take on that phrase. I kind of like it. Oh, all right. I didn't need to waste that one. That's all right. All right. Uh, let's do the bomb jump. 
Let's do the bomb jump. We can do the bomb jump, right? That should do. All for a compass! Which is fucking the worst! Alright, that's okay. Kinda got it taken care of. Luckily, though, we do have Samari, so this, mm -hmm. this little section won't be so bad. Uh. Now, what? I, I moved a pixel. You ass. Stupid ass Wallmaster, get out of here, man. That's some Garbo right there. Bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, good. Yeah, alright. So, Mako's probably gonna have the last time. How, how awesome is that? I mean, that's not strictly true. The last item could be... Could be in that one chest. Could be in that one chest, which we should probably check first. Uh, although, I guess it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. We should probably go take care of Mothula first. So then we can save we can save a check on that chest if it's uh, if Mothula's got the item. Seems like a more reasonable approach, yeah. Oh, nice, alright. This is a good good move there. I don't want that, though. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna be very conservative with my magic use. Uh, right, let's see what we can do here. Nice. All right. One. Get one double there. Beautiful. All right. Oh crap! I duff that one up. Alright, so we're gonna have maybe four swings of Fire Rod for Mothula. If we can nail them all. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting fight. Uh, we'll probably get three at best, because we might be a little bit short. Ah, oh, and then I ducked all oh, I wonder if that's still counted as a hit. It's always such a silly fight. I don't know if any of those hurt. <laughs> I don't know if any of those did what I wanted it to do. Come on, get out of the corner, you fuck. Oi! Get down here, piece of shit. Oh, oh wow, alright, we managed it. <laughs> and it was the item, okay, so I'm glad I did that first then. Crystal number deuce for us. Back on average. Okay, so, alright. No, uh... No game-breaking items there. No real good shit to speak of. But that's just how the rando goes sometimes. south though because I'm gonna go check uh, cave north of graveyard there and then we'll make our way up 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 the mountain Bye. 
piece of candy all right worth a go all right up the mountain we have to break a little sequence since we don't have a lamp but we should be able to handle it without much issue gives us nothing. Thanks for the bomb cap, old man. What a waste of our time. Alright, so I guess we're not going to get anything, like, important. Important to the logic yet, since we're still kind of out of sequence. So we're not, oh, but I'm kind of glad we did, because there's our favorite hook shot. What about inside? Oh, it's a bloomerang. Well, fuck that bloomerang, but we're defo grabbing that hook shot. 100%. Well, that'll help us out a whole bunch. Da -da -da. Oh, I suppose we're here. We may as well just check it. If we have the means to get it yet. Will it be necessary to come back? It's a little, little, little piece of love. A little piece of candy. Alright. Good. I suppose we could have done a pedestal check while we were doing Skull Woods too, but I, I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot to do that. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. Compass downstairs. Nobody gives a shit about that. Big ass key. Six. I'm guessing the guessing six for the Ganon's Tower big key, and we are a long ways off from that. I mean, that's a great guess. I like that number, but it'll be a, it'll be a bit before we get that far. Uh, we do have the big key. Yeah, we should be all right. The burrito. All right, so we literally got zero items. So the last item, Wormulon's gonna have one of them, and then the last one's gonna be in the basement. So this worked out about the worst possible way it could end. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, I had it the first time, and then I tried to readjust, and I got stuck. 
That was, was good on my part. Oh, real good move. Oh, let's see. All right, fuck it. Let's go around. amazed at the fucking distance that asshole can shove you. It always feels like it should be one tile less than it actually is. Just get bopped around all over the place. It's gonna be four spins if I... I-I-R-C? Fucking get out of my face. That's two. Either four or five. This and then and another spin should maybe do it. Nope. Oh, good. Now I've done it. Fucking. <sighs> hate this fight so goddamn much. Should be simple. It should be real easy. Get down here, you fuck. Get down here. He does the fast and rage thing regardless of spins. So that was five spins. Hardly even worth it. Just gone for normal ass slashes. Alright, what do we get? A piece of candy. Great! Awesome! Now we gotta come the fuck back in here and get that last item. Great. Hmm. Pork roll and cheese with a fried egg sandwich with fries, a bowl of horseradish. Jesus, that sounds like a... That sounds like a serious meal. And also very delicious. Damn. Damn, son. I mean, I guess the good news is we can just mirror the fuck out when we're done here, but... I hardly call that good news. The best news would be not having to come the fuck down here to begin with, but hey. Can't, oh, nice. Can't be choosy about what we got. Softlock, seriously? How the hell do I? How the hell did I manage to do that? God damn it! Now we gotta go back and do this again. Awesome! Love doing that. Great! And we get to sit through 30 seconds of tile room again. Whee! Isn't this fun? It's such a bullshit thing that happens. All right, let's try this again. That should be safe. get for our trouble. Okay, you know, that's probably a fair reward. Not incredibly useful, but uh, it does the job. Squirrel, please. 
Well, heart piece is a piece of candy. Does that make a full heart a bag of candy? Yes. I guess. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Oh, we could have just gone straight for it. Oh, too late. We're committed. I like to think of it as like a full one pound bag of gummy bears. Which is a real bad idea to eat in one sitting, by the way. Just uh, throwing that out there. You know, being a bottle. Okay. Our first bottle. Alright, what else we got? A little piece of candy, big old 20, another big ass heart container or bag of candy, whatever. Ether and a big old 20. Okay. Okay, well that wasn't super valuable. Oopsie. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I need to go around. Oh, fuck it. Let's do the bomb. Let's try the bomb jump again. Fine. Intestinal exorcism guaranteed. Well, that doesn't exactly make me want to watch that. <laughs> there are a few <laughs> there are a few words I hear that I read that doesn't really make me want to go watch a video about it. That's probably one of them. Intestinal exorcism. It's a very a very odd phrase. Five pound ba- oh man, what? That sounds like a terrible idea. And I think a one pound bag is a bad idea. A five pound bag is just not great. <laughs> Ew. It's so disgusting. Ugh. That's like on par with Num Nuts eating Tide Pods, so I- I guess, whatever. Ugh. It's really gross. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm not hungry anymore. Nine. Oh, I get it. We've got a six and we've got a nine. Nice. <laughs> uh, magic powder. Big old heart container. Okay, and now we're looking a little bit better on the health fronts. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Real question what I should have looked at before we got in here was what's on the island. Piece of candy. Alright, so not not useful by any stretch of the imagination. Let's check T-Rock real quick while we're in the neighborhood. What we got? What we got? Quakerito. Good old vanilla quack. Oh, now there's our final shield. Oh, the hammer! That's fucking useful as hell. Look at what that all lights up for us now. Fucking brilliant. All right. We have got some places to go now. Some real important places. 
Got ourselves uh, two crystals we can grab. Swamp and ice, so we'll do that right quick. Oopsie. Remember to open this up properly. Get one on G Tower. Get one what? I think I missed the context of this. Get what? A sword? I've seen many swords in G Tower. Goodness. I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. Could you refresh my memory about what you're what you're gabbing about there? Hey, you Omega Weapon. How you doing? Good to see you. God, I hate being in swamp with just a plastic ass sword. It's terrible. Big key first chest. I've gotten that a couple times, actually. It's always real nice, but then you have to go get a small key anyway, so it's kind of like, kind of bittersweet. All right, our item menu is looking a little bit better now. We still don't have that lamp, though. That makes me a little worried. Although I suppose technically now we're still out of logic since we went up the mountain without it. That's right. We'll make this work. Let's see. I think I've had Big Key first chest once. And I've had it the second one a couple times. But mostly they've hewed towards the back half, which doesn't make me a happy man. But you know, that's, that's the RNG for you. It is not here to make us happy. It is here to make things exciting. But you can bet as soon as we get those little booty boots, we are headed to the library to pick up our silvers. Because silvers are fucking rad. It's a big 20! Oh wait, I forgot to mark down the first item as well. Right, so I don't lose count here. Alright, this time I will not flood out the key, right? That's not what we're gonna do. Uh, I don't have a big enough sword to get that. <laughs> we're just gonna hit the switch and go. We're not gonna flood out the key. I, did, I think I did that last time. That is a lesson that I have I have learned. To not flood out the key. Can we get by without getting poked? Yeah, just barely. Scammed our way out of there. Excuse me. Mm. I breathed in when I shouldn't have. <sighs> ah, that's better. Nothing a little alcohol can't fix. Very few problems that a little alcohol can't fix. Is all the music from the ROM or is it my playlist? It's a playlist. No, they are, they are very clever and very smart and very cool to offer you the option to strip the music out of the ROM. So you can kind of listen to your own shit while you're doing this. Plus, as I've learned a couple times in the past, 
uh, YouTube will actually uh, content ID some of the OG Elf Link to the Past uh, music. Which is super fun and cool and not annoying at all, by the way. Oh, what was in that first chest? Was it an item or was it some bullshit? I think it was the compass, right? I hope it was the compass. I guess it really doesn't matter. We're going to be full clearing anyways. But yeah, all the music I play here is... Uh, well, maybe not all of it, but certainly like 99% of it will be stuff from uh, OC Remix. If perchance you are interested in grabbing it yourself, which I recommend because it's awesome shit. Is awesome shit! Oh, I don't have the big key. Great, awesome. Glad I remembered that. some of the Smash Ultimate music. Uh, I don't know if I'll be doing that. Because as much as it doesn't matter if my shit gets content ID'd on YouTube after I post this stuff, I really want to avoid that as much as possible. Because it's just irritating and annoying. Good thought, though. Oh, there's the big key. All right. You know what? We may as well go check that chest. Actually, wait, what do we have left? The burrito? Oh, should we risk not going back for it? We'll risk not going back for it. Save us like 10 seconds or whatever. 300 roofs. All right, we still got a chance to not have to go back for that big chest. Assuming Argus has the final item. We get to see good old spin strats in Argus because I've got the plastic sword, so that's exciting. AKA annoying, AKA a waste of fucking time, but hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, man? Oops, oh, I fucked that up. in a good position here. Alright. Alright, that was pretty good. That was pretty a pretty solid job there. Ah, I missed him. That's right. On the ice rod. Interesting. What an interesting item for you to drop there, Argus. But we'll take it. I mean, I don't like looking for that one all the time, so that's nice. It's a nice ice. <laughs> okay, well, that's crystal number four. Uh, let's bop on over to the ice palace now. So within striking distance here. But then we're kind of up a creek. Because we need the lamp. Well, we don't need the lamp, necessarily. I would very much like the lamp. Because I don't feel like, uh... Do not feel like attempting Dark Rooms and Mire and or T-Rock for the first time. That would be silly. Fucking 
fast travel for us. Excellent. That gets us into mire. But with no lamp, I'm probably going to stay away from mire. <laughs> Sounds vaguely chrono, chrono triggerish there for a second. Pretty good with this bomb jump as of late. Uh, oops, I do it this way. And that should do it. Ah, oh, I think it might have been a pixel off. There, that should do it. That's a pixel. Okay, let's get an old. There, there we go. Now we're good, maybe. Hey, first try. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally open to song suggestions and shit like that. Absolutely. Absolutely dropping the old Discord. At least for randos, when I'm playing randos, I try to keep it to uh, Zelda and Zelda accoutrements for uh, obvious reasons. Big old 20. Uh, I don't have a small key, so we are kind of proper fucked here. our magic a little bit. We have just enough. We have just enough uh, to handle the boss here. Although, oh, we still got only the plastic sword. And we'd have to do spinnerinos to uh, do some damage on Cold Stare. Which makes me unhappy. Especially with no like backup magic to use the fire rod on him. Yep. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. You know, no, no use worrying about it right now. Hey, there's our lamp, though. Hmm. What an interesting convoluted route we would have had to take to get that. Hmm. How very interesting. Because I thought we were still on kind of out of logic r routing here, but apparently I'm wrong. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna really question it too much. I'm not really gonna question that too much, you know? Looking for some health drops here. We are in a very sad state of affairs. Nothing. Bump. 
Any any health here whatsoever? Alright. One fucking heart. Great. Just the big ass key. Alright, we out. We out, son. Actually, did we even need the big key? I think we could have done without it. We might have been able to do this without it. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. I guess we've got it. We've got it. It's all the remixes on Spotify. I mean, it's all, like, freely available. It's already out there, my friend. I could just drop the entire playlist somewhere, though. I mean, it's not really that big a hassle for me to do that. Tell you exactly what's on the playlist. I'm just gonna check this for funsies. Eh? Eh, small-ass key. See, look, we didn't even need the big key. We could've just uh, popped straight on down. But I was a I was a big smart boy and went and got it anyway. Looking for some health drops here, please, fuckos. Just anything, anything to help us out. Well, there's one. So this is gonna be an interesting fight. We'll need all of our magic to bust him out of his little icy shell there, and then it's gonna be. Ugh. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. This might be a very, a very long and stupid fight. Fairly warm, says I. So that'll do that. I don't know if the bee will be able to, uh... We'll try it. I think it's just gonna push him around. Or do literally nothing. We're gonna have to be super careful. That's gonna cause shit tons of lag too, so that's not not to my advantage really. Shit. Because they still cause two hearts at a crack by running into me. So this could be a real bad sitch that we've got ourselves into. A real bad sitch, if you know what I'm saying. Oh my god, I'm probably gonna die. And that bee is just going fucking hog wild there. So good for him. Good for him for trying. I mean. Ouch. Oh boy. This could be some real bad news. <laughs> this is such a dumb fight. What am I doing? I mean, I think that's hurting him. He's making a little brrrr sound, so whatever, you know? So we won't know until I... Okay, alright, it is, it is working. Just very slowly. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Ouch, oh. Alright, Iron Man, Iron Man style here now. Whoa. <laughs> Goodness me, that- Oh no! I ate it! <laughs> oh shit. I probably shouldn't go back and do that again until we've got some- some supplies. Which is what we're gonna do. At least we've got fast travel now, so we can go take care of that when we're better equipped. Uh, let's go activate that flute! Get that flute! Hold that flute! What a silly fight. I'm surprised I even got one of those little frozen puff dudes down. But all right, now we have pretty much access to everywhere. Uh, the real question is, what will yield the uh, best and quickest gains? I could go buy a bottle of magic, buy a little, a little magic potion. That would help the uh, the cold stare fight, certainly. But maybe it's best for us to go elsewhere before we even try to do that. Oh, but we do have a bottle. Let's go check in an old sick kid here. Would really behoove him to give us a sword, please. Eh? Eh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> eh. Alright, well, whatever. It's fine. 
It's fine. We'll, 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 we'll make it work. Everything's fine. Big old heart container, we could have used that before. Some busy bams, never goes wrong. Alright, what do we need to get into there? Good old Quakerino, we can get in there. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, that's where we're headed next, because... Fuck going back to ice without a better plan. And better items and shit, so... Whatever, let's put a bomb cap there. Okay! Into Missity Mire we go. bird will not leave me alone. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't think Quake is gonna do it for us, though. Oh, I don't have any magic! Well, shit, son. I don't have any magic. I guess I should have known. I'll just go buy some. Get some potions anyways. Got plenty of money, may as well, right? What a darn stupid time to run out of magic. I'll tell you what. Oh, I suppose I could have used hammer on cold stare. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Killing the old spin strat thing. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Mistakes were made. 100%. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try, and we only had it. We had a third of them down. It's not bad. Ah, shit. We don't have silvers. We know where they are. They're in the library. But we don't want to have the booty boots to get them. This is going to be a, a fun vitreous fight. Certainly a fun vitreous fight incoming. Man, this seed has been full of fun boss fights. First, uh, blind with the Cane of Samaria. And then I fought, uh, Cold Stare with Spin Strats when I should have used Hammer. Oh, Half Magic, that's pretty handy. Excellent. That'll help us out on Cold Stare. Bum bum. Right. Half magic makes this a, a bit of a softer touch now. Also makes me a bit less worried about our impending T-Rock run here, too. Ouch, excuse me. Yeah. Hi! D 
tea bags. I can just do this. Alright, we out. Both items have been achieved. We out. Went and got snacks and now you're still hungry. Oh, That's unfortunate. <laughs> I know the pain, man. I know the pain. I guess we'll have to go like normal ass arrow strats for Vitreus. It's probably the best weapon I've got because doing hammer for Vitreus is probably not a good idea for me. Dumb bullshit Vitreus fight with plastic sword and no silvers. Alright, is it two arrows per? No, I think it's like some bullshit three arrows per. Sure is. Whoa! Ouch. It's still cause a lot of goddamn damage for being flesh ass eyeballs. Also, I gotta not miss so many of these because I need some. Uh, whoa! <laughs> Riding the lightning there, quite literally. Oh, not that time, though. Mm. Okay. Uh, we've only got five arrows. This is unfortunate. Uh, hammer for the rest, I guess. Not die here, please. That'd be real nice if we didn't. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Suck shit. Vitreous. That's Crystal Five. Um. Okay. Uh, what's next here? I suppose we could go finish the job at Ice Palace and be done with it be the best idea. We still got that backup potion. Yeah, let's go do that. And I need at least one more sword to to finish this. But even if I get that and no boots and no silvers, we're looking at spin strats plus silverless, which is gonna suck a lot if we have to do that. Here's hoping that I don't have to do that. <laughs> because, uh, fuck me.
rectify that at some point. Alright, so technically we don't need to do the bomb jump, but I'm gonna do it anyways for funzos. Also practice, because apparently I need more of it. I should do it. I think that setup, I think two pixels works as well. And it does. a game of interest recently, huh? What game is that? Do tell. Uh, please go downstairs. Ah! Famous, please. Stairs. Your natural en enemy. <clears throat> oh, Untitled Goose Game. Yeah, I heard about that. Isn't that still what it's called? <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna change the name of it. I don't think they should. I think they should just go with it. They should just fucking go with it. Potion. We're just gonna go with it. We're gonna use the hammer like we should have done the first time. <laughs> Look at how much easier this is with actual, uh, actual equipment. Suck shit, cold stare. Crystal six. All right. So here's our dilemma, right? We can go for T Rock in the final crystal right away. But we are severely lacking in offensive capability. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. You know what? Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's go for T-Rock. Maybe we'll pick up a sword or two on the way. So at this point, we just gotta believe. Just gotta believe. seeds I've had in recent history here. It's the way things have shook out. <sighs> so of course it would do that. You squirrels. my most fervent hope that we find the booty boots up here. The only thing that that's really keeping us from now is the silvers. Hey, 
It's a small key. <laughs> Stupid laser eye. <laughs> laser eye surgery. Haha, <laughs> get it. Oh, oh, oh. Oops, I forgot to even do the thing that I was planning to do. <laughs> Good work, idiot. That's right. Busy bams and the big key. Like it's gonna be hammer strats on Trinex here. Which is okay. It's not the worst strats in the world, to be honest with you. Alright, you D bags need to fucking stop with that, please. Thank you. Don't block it! Oh, your ass. Stupid bullshit chain chops. I think it's guaranteed to be a small key in the center. We're gonna have to check it out anyways, I think. Didn't they have Goombas in a Zelda game somewhere? Yes, Link's Awakening had them. The uh, one for the OG Game Boy. Let's see. They had Goombas and Piranha Plants in that one. Because, hell yeah. Uh, cross-pollinating first-party titles, you know? It's just a small key. Bummer. <clears throat> and Cheap Cheeps, actually, come to think of it. There's a lot of fucking Mario enemies in that one. Maybe bloopers as well? I don't remember. I don't remember that one. <clears throat> mm, yes, and they did have the Chain Chomp pet. That is true. Quite true there. Oh, we can uh, check Mimic Cave. Yay, everybody's favorite, most out of the way spot in the world. I spent a lot of time on Link's Awakening back in the day as a wee babby. That was a fun game. Really cool. They did a great job with it. Alright, come back here, fuck. Alright, F this. Eh. 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 Oops. Eh. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. 50 rupees. Oh, what a fucking waste. You have seven handheld Zelda games and only finished one? Ah, that's unfortunate. You should fix that. Give that a little fix. Finish more of them. So they're, most of them are actually quite good. Probably the only one that I have that I haven't finished is... Um, shit, what is that one called? Phantom Hourglass. The actual physical cart for it, but I've never finished it. Wop, 
boom, 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 boom. All right, I think we're down to three then. Three items remaining here. Laser Bridge will be a soft to touch you. Oh boy, the bug now. Oh, well, it's... oh, and then I got fucking shot by the laser, anyways. Thanks. Thanks for that, you fucks. <laughs> Piece of candy. Not even not even good for a well-timed refill. I'll tell you what. Uh you know I should actually do this the safe way. And the non-dumb way. Ah, Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. I never played those much. I might have booted up for ages once. Played for a few minutes and then was like, eh. <laughs> I'm sure it's a really good game. I've seen several runs of it. And it's pretty it looks pretty cool and fun and cool. I said cool twice. It's so cool. Um I just never got into it myself. I think by the time I played it for the first time, it had sort of the same effect on me as Majora's Mask did. Where it was more of the same on the same system, so it's just like Eh. But, you know, whatever. Uh, Alright, let's do ice first because I don't want to fucking deal with this garbage later. That's cool, I guess. Uh, is that gonna hit him? Nice, just barely. Nice, alright. Hammer strats. Oh, I gotta watch my health though. <laughs> I do not have a backup fairy. I'm at two and a half. So we gotta, we gotta be a little careful here. I think I can take one bot from him. That'll have to be it, and we'll have to bust out the emergency potion. Or we could just fucking Iron Man this and not take a single ass hit. Eat shit, Trinex. Oh, all for 100 rupees, thanks. Thanks for that, I guess. But there's Crystal 7 and we off to G Tower. <laughs> With a plastic ass sword and not much else to our name. Oh boy. Hmm, I've got some misgivings about this plan. Just a few misgivings. Hmm. Is this a good plan? Like, my hope stands that we'll find the boots in G Tower so we can grab the silvers right quick. <laughs> Alright, so what were our guesses so far? Six and nine? Right? See what we get here. Let's go right side first because I've been burned more than once by not doing it. 20. Wow. That's a, that's a strong guess. <laughs> Number one, small ass key. Number two, 50 ass rupees. Uh, I should probably just go full on right side. Ah, too late. Committed now. How you doing, Duck Legend? 
Good to see ya. Can't you switch your name back yet? Like, I feel like you're getting close, right? Big ol' burrito on the torch, so we're gonna leave that, because we can't get to it. And also, we don't care about it. Or have you decided to hold on to Duck of Legend just because... Because it's fun. Alright, here comes four through seven. Ready for this, Garbo? Four! The Red Meringue. Five! Another small-ass key. Six. The big ass key. Oh, who guessed six? Congrats. You are to win our. But we're gonna scam every other uh We're gonna scam every other chest here though, because we're still looking for stuff that we need. Uh can I get across? I can't. Okay. Stay having the boots for that. Ah, congratulations. You are the video game boy today. You are the one who wins. Oopsie. Okay. Well, good. Bravo. Congrats. Oopsie. Silly. I'm just doing this because I'm looking for items. I need... I need another sword somewhere. I can't do this with just plastic. Fortunately. I mean, well, fortunately, probably for us. Can't do it with just plastic. Also, I need more arrows. I can't do Ar Armos 2 with only 16 arrows. Uh, so we're gonna need to find some. I was about to say, what a lovely room with four pieces of candy. Can't you damage Armos with the boomerang, too? I feel like you can. I feel like I heard that from somewhere. Nope, never mind. We've got just enough arrows now. Plus three extra for when I inevitably miss. Uh, oh boy, this is gonna be a fun jaunt. This is gonna be a fun jaunt. <laughs> I can't just do my little my little dash boost across. I guess I could. I could do the bomb jump. That's something I could probably do. Probably just do a straight up bomb jump. Here. Like right here. Nice. Oh fuck! <laughs> little shit ass bopped me right in there. Oh fucko. Assholes out of here. Come on, man. Get out of my face. There. No. Oh, right there is probably fine. There. Fuck off! Come on! Why do they fucking do that? Pushy way too goddamn far. Alright, this guy needs to go away. Guess what, fucker? Special delivery. Eat shit. Alright, this time we got it. Poor Bob. He's just suffering. Hey, there's a sword. Ah, but this means we can do silverless and spin strats. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, can we though? I think we can, but that would be a heck of a way to do it. Shooter. 
Dude, it's Armos, please. Hmm. I still don't like our chances with the... Uh... Ah, oh, excellent. We don't need to do Silverless. We don't need to do Silverless. That's important. That is very important. Okay, we can do the we can do spin strats. We're not doing both. Either or, but never both. Ugh, okay. I'm feeling a little bit better about this now. As shitty a not sub two as this is gonna be, I am quite chuffed now that we don't have to do serverless. Ooh, we don't have a lot of arrows though. Ooh. Um, this is a little concerning, actually. Can we even do this? I don't think we can do the gauntlet with this few arrows. Unless we pick some up on the way. Oh, are they going to give us arrows here? Okay. Oh, they are just teasing us a little bit here. I don't like it. Okay, there's a few more. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm, it got me a little worried for a second there. But that is some late-ass boots, if I've ever seen them. In G Tower there. Give us some more, uh... Give us a few more... Things now. Alright, whatever. This is fine. We'll make do with what we got. Breathe. <laughs> Refrain from using arrows here, because I know I'm going to need a few for the Ganon fight. Still got that backup potion just in case, too. Fuck. I just want a few. I want a few spares because I've definitely fucked up the arrow count on Ganon before. Definitely has been a thing in my past. Can we do it? Nice! We got it! That's pretty rare for me to get that one, so I'm really happy with that. Excuse me. Thing's gonna push me off the edge if I don't do it right. All right, so now do we go for another? Okay, ten arrows not bad. I get there. It's kind of hoping for another sword. <laughs> to get a tempered sword or whatever so we don't have to do uh, spin strats, but such is not to happen today. Fucking, why do I always do that? Come on, man, get on the goddamn conveyor belts. Like the one time I need a conveyor belt to help me and it just fucking doesn't. Gosh dang break. Now watch, 
I bet if I spin this, he'll go all crazy, yeah, of course. Doesn't matter, he's fucking dead. Alright, so validation chest can be our savior here. Eh? Ah! <laughs> uh, I, think, well, I think one time it was Butter Sword and it did save us a bit, but... Not this time, it seems. Not this time, it seems. It's a good place to be right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that only counted as one now, so that's unfortunate. Of course, it blue balls me, shit ass. Come on, man! Like, eat my ass. Uh, I don't know, I think that counted as one as well, so we're not... Yeah, I think that's only four now. Okay. Alright, so to avoid the ugliness that would be a silverless fight, we're gonna go grab those real quick. Go down to the library, get some reading on, you know? Such a tease for the entirety of the game. These things have been sitting there. We weren't able to get them. It's kind of garbage, if you think about it. See, look at these fucks. Just sitting there being like, no, 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 you can't get us. Good luck. Good luck, fucko. Alright, now we're ready. Now we're ready. For this? I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go. Or to cook some bacon. Evidence of anything inside it. But, uh, you know what, Ganon? That's that's a fair assessment, I think. dangerous place to be so we're gonna coward this out a little bit <laughs> so all we've got for backup really is that blue potion which is good is good and fine but we definitely would have wanted more going into this I think we can eat one more to the face before we die, so we're gonna... It's gonna kinda try to smoke this out a bit. That's enough right there. <laughs> that is enough right there, thank you. 
Alright, so now it's just all up to us. All up to some raw mad skills here. I think we might need a couple more. Nope, we're good. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can do here. No oh, surprise, that's pretty quick. Alright. Impressive. did find the arrows in the light world, you piece of shit. Can we get one of them there? Probably not. He's gonna... Bitch. What a bitch. Alright. Oops. Um, we need to watch our magic usage now because I went a little bit crazy there. Except we're gonna get a double, which is fucking rad. Can we double to finish, you think? Ah, not quite. Shit. Alright, it's okay. It's okay. There we go. Eat shit, Ganon. No one will miss you. Alright, that fight is always kind of a little bit not great when you don't have everything you want. But we did it! We fucking did it. We beat the big pig. And we're done. And it's a uh, 207.29. Eh. With as jank as that seed was, um, I'm okay with calling that a 207. That's fine. All right. So I'm gonna go take a little quick break. Go refresh myself a bit, and then we'll be back for number two. Okay, okay. We'll just let this play out at regular speed so we get a a hot minute to rest our mind a little bit.
All right, you know what? We're, we're done waiting on this. Prepare to fast forward. <laughs> Prepare to fast forward. Oh, they had the busy bambos on MSP today. All right. You know what? That's okay. That's all right. It was kind of a silly seed. Like, all the way through, it was really silly. We had some swordless action going on. We fought through 95% you know, of the rest of the seed with plastic sword. Ugh. Boots was super late. We had to get silvers at the last minute. But all in all, I don't think it turned out too poorly. Like, 207? 207 and a half? All right. Like usually with a seed that that's that's that jerky, blah, blah, blah. that is that jerky. We would be looking at like a 220, a 225. But 207, you know, even if it's above average, it's still it's still a little something something, you know. Get that cleared out and applied. So new average now 202.42. Not ideal. We're going the wrong direction there, but be able to get that kind of squared. Hmm. All right, good there. Uh, I want to make sure I update everything else, but we'll we'll take a look at the stats and then we'll get number two spun up in short order here. Do another one. Well, we are we are gonna do another one. Not a full one. We'll do a Triforce hunt, but we'll do another one, certainly. Yeah, first sword at 41 minutes. That feels a little bit early, actually, but whatever. Two swordless, six with the plastic, two with the master. GT Big Key was technically number six since we didn't get the torch. Two deaths, one of which was intentional, I want to say. But I don't recall. Uh, other than that, it wasn't, wasn't too terribly awful. 